I am aware, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that we have a serious problem of students who have not traveled for the overseas students. And parents recently protested. And people have been asking, why is the senator silent? I think we also need to understand how government works. When you hand over an office, the reasonable thing to do is to allow the person who has taken over the office to run the office without your interference or lingering around to look like you are want to interfere. So when I handed over the county government, I also handed over this program to the county government. And they have been running the program from the 25th of August to date. So when parents raised the issue, I could not speak about it because, one, there was a petition to county assembly. And there is a myriad of allegations that were said. The matter was referred to ACC and DCI. If I attempted to even discuss or try and intervene, it could have looked like there is something I'm trying to cover up. So what did I do? I keep quiet. I expect the governor to provide leadership. And if there is an issue, call me as the former governor if there are issues they don't understand. Sit at the table and say, we have been able to run this program for one year. We are experiencing challenges here. We need you to help us explain because you are the initiator. And there are things that I cannot run away with myself. And you people know me. I stand by what I do. And I am responsible for all my errors of commission and omission. I cannot run away. I initiated the problem. I would have expected naturally the governor to call me for a meeting and say, now there are these issues. If I have not called, I cannot bring myself. I cannot speak about it so that I don't look like I'm interfering. But when the governor went to the press and said, kill a mutu baby musigoyaki, I absolutely agree with him. I will carry my cross to the extent that I handed over the office at the 25th of August 2022. I have told you the amounts that were in the account. But as a responsible leader, now that the governor has invited me to this debate, we cannot have parents demonstrate and then the governor runs away the deputy governor sneaks through the fence. How, what, if, if it were me, and, and, and the good thing, you guys are, have been with me for 10 years. We have gone through demonstrations of workers together. We have gone through the demonstrations of health workers together in this town. You never saw me running away. I would have expected the governor or the deputy governor to invite those parents who are demonstrating and tell them, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Let's have a discussion. Let the parents raise their issues. And if the parents raise issues and say, it, we have this problem, we want the former governor who is the senator to come and address, then after discussion with the parents, you stay the way forward and say, one of the way forward, we are inviting former governor Jackson Mandago, the senator of this county, for a meeting on this particular day to discuss these matters and explain to parents. Because I am ready to look at those parents in there and ask them, any single parent who says, I told them that this program will be paid by the county. Therefore, because I have been invited in this and I cannot run away, I am a leader in this county. Even if I'm not a leader, I'm a resident of this county. I believe in this program that it is still a transformative program that can help our young people. I'm asking the governor to call for a meeting. 